Well, anyone who's received an antibody treatment for the coronavirus vaccine, or coronavirus rather, should wait before they get the vaccine. That's why the Surgeon General said President Trump will not be getting vaccinated right away. I want to bring in Dr. Perry Wilson. He's an associate professor of medicine at Yale. Good morning to you, Dr. Wilson. It's good to see you again. There was also some guidance that came out from the CDC about people who have allergic reactions to vaccines and that they should consult their doctor. Does this mean they too should not get the vaccine at all? No, you definitely should talk to your doctor. Um, the background here is that there have been a few cases of severe allergic reactions um, in people receiving the Pfizer vaccine. Still incredibly rare. Uh, I think the last count was uh, was five cases. There have been about 100,000 doses administered um, in this country so far, and, and probably more even since I looked up that data last time. So this is still really, really rare. The recommendation is still that um, you don't want to be all alone after you get a vaccine. So uh, so even for people without allergies, um, the idea is that you can be monitored for about 15 minutes to make sure you're not gonna have a bad reaction. For people with severe, uh, a history of severe allergies in the past, um, they would want them to be monitored for longer, up to 30 minutes, just to make sure that nothing bad is happening. Obviously, touch base with your doctor, particularly if you've had uh, reactions to other vaccines in the past. You had such incredible information. I had you on my IG Live. If people want to check it out, it's at Lynn Smith TV. You were just a wealth of information. I want to talk about the new things that we now know. In the UK, there's a new variant of the coronavirus. How much of a threat do you think this is, and what does it mean when it comes to vaccinations? Yeah, things change so quickly, right? We just, we just spoke a couple of days ago. So we're still learning about this. Um, we know that viruses mutate. That is just the, the way it works. It is expected. Um, there's still some debate about whether this new mutation is more infectious. We do see a lot of cases of it in the UK, but that may also just be due to sort of dumb luck. Remember that coronavirus spreads through these super spreader events. So if one super spreader event just happened to be that variant, all of a sudden you can see that variant all over the place. Um, it does not appear that it's any more dangerous. So if you are infected with it, the sort of risks are the same as, uh, as, as prior variants. And so far, there's no evidence that this variant ha will have decreased vaccine efficacy, although that's being really aggressively studied right now. So I don't think anything super worrying, but we're obviously going to have to keep an eye on this. Yeah, I mean, just real quick for your family, your friends, they come to you. You're the expert, right? And they may be concerned about the vaccine. What do you tell them? Um, I, I, I tell them so far, so good. I mean, the vaccine rollout has been uh, very smooth. I wish we had more doses. Um, I want people to go get vaccinated. I told my friends and family to get vaccinated. My parents are in that above age 75 age group. So I'm happy that they will be sort of next in line uh, to get vaccinated. Um, it's, I, I, I tell them I'm excited about it. This is, this is still all good news. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable that we can even be here with a vaccine to get right back to normal as we should. Dr. Wilson, always good to have you. Thank you so much.